All right, Big Bang, today is Monday. It is January 24th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. It is Snake Draft 100. I should have said turn down your radio. I apologize. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe, Barstool Chicago. You see we have a nice uh, decorative desk here. It's uh, number 100, boys. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to you, Dave. Again. Back what? to back. No, that's not what we're doing. Well, no. we're going to get there. I mean, you're, you're right. He's banking right he now. We literally got... talked about lackadaisical. That has nothing to do with lackadaisical. I think it's lackadaisical. Lackadaisical. It's what? lax. There's lackadaisical. Lax. I think Carl's right. Lackadaisical? I'll go to fucking war with you. It's lackadaisical, one, boys. Yeah, sure is. I think it's lackadaisical. I have it open right here. L A C K A. That, that, that's wrong. Um, it's lackadaisical. <laughs> We're drafting fake words today. Yeah. Congratulations to you, Chief. Why is that? I mean, you guys are just out of it. I'm congratulating you on 100 shows here. Mm -hmm. And everyone's just like, why? What's going on? I What's mean, today? Chief did build There's an entire brand. There's fucking pencil on our desk. He built an entire brand off I don't, of I just don't think, it, I don't think I've had deserved anything to be singled out. It's, it's all of us. It's I said it to us. everyone. Well, you said just now to me. So I thought it was something special. I think we're different. sharing it. I don't yeah, think anybody... Sure. We're just sharing yeah. a nice little... Uh, Hundred episodes. Have you? What is something you've done a hundred times over a two-year period of time that you're proud of? It's a very good question. I I couldn't even tell you. Have, what, do you have anything? A hundred times. I've probably had a hundred stakes in the last year. Are you proud of that though? <laughs> I kinda. <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> big run on red meat. Yeah, big red meat guy. Sure, but uh, yeah. So thanks again for everybody for voting. Uh, we had a bunch of votes, I believe. I think we had a good turnout, so it should be. Do a we fun have draft. the final count? Yeah, we had uh, 7,761 people gave their top five. Okay, okay that's good. pretty good. So, so thanks that's to you guys, and congratulations to them, too. Yeah, so should we, I mean, yeah, I mean, a lot more people listen to this show, so thank you to the ones who voted, but if you didn't vote, thank you for listening. Anyways, it doesn't matter. We're going to get the 7,000-plus people's opinion on the best snake drafts out of the 100 or out of the 99, technically. One of my favorite parts about this is how it was born. Yeah. Just like it was right after the pandemic, like everything was shut down, completely shut down. That's when everybody was really weird about like staying six feet away and, and everything. And we needed an episode. So we're like, let's just, it was HBO drafts, correct? No, we did uh, N64 drafts was the first one. And we did it because, like I said, I usually had like the, the blue collar interviews, like the bowling guys and shit on that mm -hmm. days of the week. But I'm like, hey, these guys ain't coming near us. Yeah. Right. Everyone's six feet. Everyone's shut down. People's businesses they got to worry about. Probably mm -hmm. you can't be talking about, you know, garbage mm -hmm. men and shit. So we did this just to fill time and people liked them. And then here we are 100 episodes later. I saw the biggest challenge when this started is how, because it was like, how do you get four guys to do a 15 minute podcast? Yes. 15, 20 minute. <laughs> Remember we used to go through those <laughs> yeah, picks? I'm right. taking 007. Yeah. Good pick, Carl. Yeah, All right. Next All right uh, I'm going to take Banjo. Or what yeah, did you yeah. That's when we well, were think the, Dave, tell the Donkey Kong story. And, you know, Dave yeah. would tell the yeah. Donkey Kong story in 30 seconds. I Crazy think, times. I think the N64 draft was like 23 minutes long or yeah, 18 minutes long front. or something like Someone that. Someone did that a, a while back. They, it was Abby Hamilton. It was well, Abby Hamilton. Yeah, yeah. Abby Because, like, that also should be noted. Like, the evolution of this show, that was the idea, is the dog walk. You're supposed to be a quick hitter that you could listen while you walk your dog. Mm -hmm. So it was only supposed to be 10, 15, 20-minute show. Whoops. And then this show has broke that barrier. So Do you feel a little guilt, Ed? What, that it's longer than that? No. No. What do I feel that guilt about? you named about? it the dog walk so when people are walking their dogs, they can listen to it, and you're not a dog guy, like, it's kind of a pandering yeah, name. I love exactly. walking my dog. Inauthentic listeners. name. Yeah. Well, mm. You should feel guilt ridden. I wanted to name it Smoke Break or Shit Break. And somebody said no? They said it would probably not be great for sponsors, which makes sense. Which is the same kind of, uh, the same kind of theme, you know? Mm -hmm. you're taking a shit or you're mm -hmm. having a smoke. The logo is great, though. It's you know? a great logo. Um, you walk in the little wiener dog? Um, Hot it dog. makes sense. But yeah, here we are, 100 later. And um, congratulations, Dave. You won again. You're back to back. Uh, that's two in a row. That's three of five, I believe it is. Are uh, you going to address the allegations, though? What, what are, are the allegations? allegations? I no, I'm not making these allegations myself. There I were, haven't seen any. There were people piping up, saying that they think you're using a ghost drafter. What does that even mean? I haven't seen that. I haven't like go, like someone. I mean, he's sitting here. Want to yeah. audit your messages? But, like like he's got a CIA earpiece in. 
No, like someone could he could tell someone the topic beforehand, and they could be like, you know, hey, do this, or he could oh, be he's on. a he's a text he's a text laptop guy. He could be he could be phoning in the picks as they go. I have consulted before, not for the last two I've won. Okay, at all. So you were getting Look. bad advice before, and now that you've dumped that person. Um, no, if it's like a, a topic that I'm not well versed in. And I will consult outside. Hmm. I'll be like, hey, what do you think of this? Like, what are your top five? I don't know, for MTV, example. For example. Not that I'm not an MTV fan. I used to be a big MTV fan. But like, hey, what are the best MTV shows like? Mm -hmm. I would ask someone who is a big MTV fan. But okay. not for the last two, I have not. No. And if you think, if any of you think I'm going above and beyond to then do they anything don't know you. at all. Then, then they don't know you. Like, can you guys address this, please? <laughs> I, it wasn't I promise, my allegation. I promise Dave would not put in that much effort. <laughs> Thank you. It was not my allegation. Um, but three of five, I'm on a heater. Um, yeah, I think you probably have more wins than Chief at this point. Oh, right? 100%. Yeah, definitely. Because yeah. I don't think yeah. he ever passed me. Did you ever pass me? Yeah. For total wins? Total wins. Yeah, I did. I don't think you did. Well. I, That's I'm, the, L the LVP of this show is whoever fucked the polls up way back. Yeah. yeah. That's the LVP. Whoever, and I know you're listening right now. Fuck you. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Fuck you. Thank you, David. Um, all right, yeah. Let's uh, let's just get into it, right? I think that's that, that's all the. Ch oh, actually, before we do get into it, we do have. Um, Wait, aside from that, what? How are we doing the draft order? Well, I'm going to do that too. Okay. Uh, I will do that. Okay. This is. Do you want to do the ad then? That's what I was going to do. Okay, let's yeah. do it. <laughs> um, besides the tinsel and the beef kits, if you're watching on YouTube as well, you see the wood body wash. Body products, I should say, on our desk. Um, go get some wood. Barstool's new grooming line. Uh, Carl, you really enjoy it? Yeah, it's good. It's it's reasonably priced. Everything's under 15 bucks. Um, I got some shit for being bald, but like I still condition and shampoo because I take I take care of my scalp and my body. Uh, the same thing goes with body wash. This is the type of body wash Dave gets in every fucking crevice you want it in. And that's that's I mean for you know sweaty overweight guys like us that's that's there's a, a lot of crevices yeah i was just saying you got some crevices. we got some yeah. crevices at the table and, some and flaps. wood gets in there <laughs> i mean yeah i mean more flap we than we want yeah, but exactly yeah we're, 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 we're working on that too we're working on that some folds but some we're folds. making the best of what we have and we're doing it with wood products <laughs> and well, let's talk about your beard we don't dave. look good but we smell good dave what was the bet you made about growing out your beard uh it wasn't my bet that i made but there was a bet proposed to me that i uh, could let well, me guess who proposed it? Me? Red Ed over there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. mid Ed read here. Let's let's. Uh, he said that, that, that I could grow my beard out if I like didn't shave. That mine would be longer than his in like two days. And I said no, it'd be more like three days. But um, if I do decide to take that bet, I would have the wood beard oil, which is not in my presence right now, but it's somewhere around here. And can we? Can we? Can, can I? Can it's, I bring it's something there, up? Dave. It's on the tincture. Please. Yeah, that's right there. Tincture. Can I bring something up without you getting bad at me? Yeah. Um, that's a big problem. Well, oh. I, I, see, I can't. <laughs> he I says, can't, "Yeah." He's not thinking about that. I can't <laughs> not get mad at you. Without knowing what the question is, it's an impossible question. It's like this question. scene in fucking uh, Pulp Fiction when they're sitting at the. I feel terrible because I just put myself in a box and I don't want. Well, to do now that. you have to ask it. I know that's the problem. And my natural reaction will be my natural you reaction. Catch up, but like I wish we could, I wish we could bond over the picture that you sent oh me this weekend. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> All right, I'm, I, I'll tell I'll tell it exactly how it went. So someone was at a it was a Hawks game, right? Yeah. It was at the United Center. It's either Hawks or Bulls game, <laughs> and it was. I'm assuming in between periods or halftime or whatever. And there was a dude that uh, – so some Barstool fan sniped a picture of this dude just, like, drinking at one of the little sidebars in the concourse. And his – like, you guys make fun of me for my beard. His, his beard was beard up was. to his fucking eyeballs. Like, actually up to his eyeballs. Like a genetic disorder of sorts. I don't I think it was. Okay. He just had no, a high beard. It was, it was, like, up to here. I mean, like, mine goes up to, like, here – but his was like a good solid two, three inches above mine. And there I did is no, there's <laughs> two, three no, inches bro. above yours. Listen, it was, I'll show you the pic. That's made, like your forehead here. is three inches above your beard. I, but the kids sniped a picture of this guy, and I didn't like want to, to tweet it, it out. Yeah. And it made White Sox Dave beard look so junior varsity, it's not even funny. And that's hard to do because White Sox Dave's beard is fucking. I stand corrected. Captain. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is. See, but I feel bad because the people aren't going to be able to see this yeah, picture. Yeah, like, because we don't want to tweet it out. This guy's just an innocent bystander. He we might are. like it. He might be proud we don't of it. Want He's wearing it. Shit it's on like his beard. It's like trimmed up. Like he knows it's up there. Can we, is there a way to blur his? Uh, well, you can't blur his face. No, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> 
be like an artist rendering of it. Dude, I've never seen a beard like that. That's fake. It's, it's uh, right. It makes his beard that's look fake. TV. So this guy needs weird uh, beard yes. oil. Yes, actually, from if wood. we do tweet this, just know that we will supply beard oil for you for as uh, long as Woods in yeah, business. I mean, of I can't, but I didn't want. You could like, probably put a black bar across his eyes. <laughs> Maybe, but that's I didn't all want getting. to be an asshole. I know, like, I know. Because you know, he's just standing there. Dave was so struck by it. I want to find the conversation he sent me. He made it sound like it was very serious. And he's like, dude, if I show you something, like, you can't fucking show anyone. I was like, dude, Because right, I didn't man. want you know, people I, ripping onto the kid exactly, on the internet. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Nice. He's like, dude, I have to show you something, but you have to promise not to reshare it on Twitter or anything. I was like, of course, I got you. And he goes, someone just sent me that. And I was... Uh, it was it's jarring. jarring. Yeah. 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 Was, Did you think I had like, uh, like, oh, hey, my grandma died? Like, yeah, I thought yeah. it was gonna be like, dude, like I fucked up, like I, did, you know, I got a girl pregnant. I thought it was, <laughs> I thought it could have been no. like, I was thinking the worst. That of the phone worst. call is coming. Yeah, I oh, feel yeah. like that'll happen at some point. Oh yeah, that's why there's this. Sh- I can't wait. To <laughs> All right. I, oh my. There's God. one right at what is that? Wells uh, or shop at getwood.com or Crazy. your local CVS. Getwood.com, <laughs> local CVS. Twenty four hours too, I think. Uh, if you're really in a pinch, um, all right. <laughs> it's all insane. Right. What? <laughs> what? All right, all right, David. Let's do the draft. Can we? If you, all right. If that does, I mean, I don't know what's funny. Can we, so is Tom? Is Tom picking? Uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, draft yeah. So order for the audience. Well, here's what it's gonna be. Okay, so social media. Danny has one through five behind his back right now. Tom, you are the voice of the audience today. Okay. All right. So what yeah. number is it? Two. It's not two, Carl. Three. Four. Yep. I'll take the third overall spot. All right. One through four White Sox, Dave. No, I want number one. No. Nope. Oh, hands, oh, hands off the chest piece. Yeah. Hands off the chest piece. White Sox, Bullshit. Dave, one through four. Uh, one. No. Four. No. Tom. Two. No. Oh, Carl. Jesus. Three. And I'll take the first overall pick. All right. Uh, one through three, White Sox, Dave. Oh, here, you got it. Um, Lacks of days ago. Two. No. Three. No. Jesus. One. Yeah. I'll take. Two, four, or five. Mm. The fourth. All right. Uh, one or two, White Sox, Dave. Two. Yeah. I'll take two. All right, I got last. All right, so the order is Carl, White Sox, Dave, Chief, Audience, Eddie. Could you say that one more time, please, slowly? Carl, White Sox, Dave, Chief, Audience, Eddie. All right. Like to apologize to the audience in advance that they're picking on the fourth spot, a historically tough spot to draft. A very tough spot for the audience, yes. I, but they're they're auto drafting. Do you though. think there's a chance the audience gets mad at you for going with the fourth spot over the second spot? Yeah, oh, a chance I hadn't thought of that, that. Anyone gets mad at me for anything. So. Yeah, true. But so yeah, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna direct the listeners to file all complaints oh, with no. Tom Lay. I'll get you his Twitter when I look it up. But thank you, Red Tom. Red Tom. Um, Tom, do you want to get Danny involved with this at any point now that all this responsibility has been thrust on you with the audience? Well, his responsibility is gone now. You want me to tap out right now? Just no, because I picked the fourth spot. I'm getting buried for taking the fourth. No, spot. No, I, I don't. I don't. I have no problem. I'm just. I was just asking your strategy. I um, like the fourth spot. Okay. All right. And here's the other thing for the for the poll. Pick the best one. Don't just pick number four because that's you, you guys. That's you guys. Good point. That's a good that's point. A good, very, that's a very don't good be point. Compromise. Yeah. Wait, yeah. What? Wait, what what does that mean? He's the the audience he, is biased to pick themselves, yeah, theoretically. To win. True. We're it's drafting against there. a computer right now. Right. There's a lot it's of. All right. Drafts. To be fair, though, there were seven thousand submissions and mm-hmm. stuff, and I just like we can get a bigger reach there, right? Like we can, yeah. we can outweigh. We should try to at least. I think that's a large enough sample size, though. It's pretty fucking big. Yeah. yeah. Seven thousand votes should win a draft. All right then. Uh, without further ado, Carl, what is the number one snake draft? <clears throat> so there is a lot of responsibility to pick first in this draft, um, and I have to take the draft that I think completely changed these drafts. I think it's the greatest guest performance to date. I have it in my top three topics that we've drafted. It's some of the hardest I've ever had to think on the job. And I also think it's the hardest that we have collectively laughed the four of us together on a job. And I I am so happy to take the soda draft with Frank the Tank number one overall. 
I think that was when when he starts pairing sodas with foods. <laughs> it and was. And we surrendered ourselves to his expertise. One hundred percent. And I think that was like the first. Obviously, Rico and Clem and the work that they've done. But that was the first time I just sat back and was like, all right, I'll, whoever makes the pick, I don't want to hear anybody but Frank talk. We were the audience that day. Yes, exactly. Yes, yes, we yes, were yes, not, yes, yes. There was no captain in that ship. That was Frank's ship. That was a seminar. <laughs> That's what it was. Okay, like I, I learned a lot about soda that day. Let's look, and we got the graphic pulled up here. So Frank the Tank, he actually picked second. He took Pepsi, he had Sunkist, he had Dr. Brown's Black Cherry, Stewart's Orange and Cream, and he had A&W last. Um, I, we don't, there might be another way to look up the pairings as well, Tom, because that's what we really need to see. Can you Google that, please? Like, yeah. what was the one that went great with tacos? Uh, yeah. I believe it was uh, Mountain, Mountain Dew. Mountain yes. Dew, okay. Mountain Dew yeah. is great. Okay. Orange is good with pork product, if I remember yes. correctly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. His pairings were, I mean, and, and he didn't even win. You no, won I this, know. Carl, it looks like. Yeah. So you won with uh, Dr. Pepper, Mountain Dew. Canada Dry Ginger Ale, Barks Root Beer, and RC uh, Cola. Um, Barks, very good. worthy winner. Yeah, but it was like that's like your most worthless win. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's my most because I there's nothing to celebrate it when you talk about this strategy. Just all goes back to Frank. Are there any sports teams in history that didn't win the championship but were the better team? Uh, the '73 win. Golden State team, yes, maybe? that the team, That's eighteen great, and one Patriots, eighteen and one Patriots. Yeah, yeah like yeah. that was Frank. He was the eighteen and one Patriots. Yeah. I love the insight he brought with Pepsi versus Coke too, because when because you draft Coke first, yeah. and he was like, "Go right ahead." You know, what I'm just <laughs> like, <laughs> I am so happy to take Pepsi. And then I loved he differentiated. Uh, the medium in which you drank the soda, where he was like, oh, that's better out of a can. Mm -hmm. I like this out of a bottle. Give it, give me. And something as simple as soda that like all of us, you know, have had, like everybody has like lifelong, most of us have lifelong experiences drinking soda and something so simple we can all relate to and to sit there and just be so amazed and overwhelmed with Frank. I, I, it found, was the it. Best. I found it. Okay. 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 So go ahead. You know, you oh, I was just going to say, like, Frank, remember that clip from the, um, the Bull show? Um, what was the one on Netflix just last year? Where it's Rodman and he's like, oh, Larry Bird, yeah, like this. Dance. And it's like, uh, that, the last dance. Like that when Rodman talking about rebounding to like the level of detail, <laughs> like that was Frank the Tank. Mm -hmm. Like nobody knows anything more than Frank knows soda. Are you guys ready for the official Frank the Tank soda pop and food pairings? Yes. Um, all right, Pepsi and pizza. Sunkissed and hot dogs, pork products, barbecue chicken, ribs and ham. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain Dew and tacos. Okay. Uh, grape soda and tacos. Hmm. Uh, Seven Up slash Sprite and hamburgers, chicken sandwiches, and chicken nuggets. He's a hundred percent right about that. Coke slash Pepsi and hamburgers. So he's got a double dip there. This is a fucking veteran one right here. Doctor Brown's black cherry with pastrami. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. There's, here's here's one. If you know, you know. I would say uh, cherry soda and uh, steak. Okay. Uh, and then cherry soda and Italian sub sandwich. And then last, there is a um, Stewart's orange and cream with anything fried. Okay. How much, if we brought him that list again, do you think he could, do you think he would replicate the pairing on site yes. right now? Oh, I, I, I really almost, do. without, I, I truly a, do. A shred of a doubt. This should be a book for like a cookbook for like, like black friday with tricks for like, sure for sure like for and sure. it should just be frank doing like this is what different sodas pair with yeah <laughs> so funny mm -hmm. um worthy worthy number one overall after all that banter i would say i yeah, would agree good pick. Mm -hmm. good pick all right um so, wait what? real quick on the uh on that one didn't he think we were in new york city for it um when he's yeah, like, hey, okay. I came to the because he wasn't full time yet. I don't think. No, no he, he was. We had just gotten full yeah. time, I think. And I was like, hey, like, hey, Frank, like, are you good to go at one o'clock? He's like, yeah, I'm at, I'm here at the office. Let me know where you want to do. I was like, oh, Frank, I'm in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> he just had no just idea. Just oblivious. <laughs> that we had a Chicago office. <laughs> Tom, can you tell us where that was on your uh, on the audience's list? That you do you have to cross that off? I assume that was top twenty five. Yes, I can. So, okay. um, the soda pop draft was it came in at number six overall. Okay, <laughs> wow. Right, so yeah. it got fourteen point seven percent of the vote. Okay, and I could tell you uh, right now how many votes that actually is. Uh, um, we don't. No, that's that's that's, that's, that's good. Oh, all right, yeah, yeah. So it was it was number six. So yeah, no, it was yeah. very good. Uh, very good. Good yeah. pick then. Yeah, yeah. Right I mean line. it's. It was a good draft. <laughs> it, that that was when I think it started becoming the dog walk snake drafts. I would say, like you said, how how did you describe it at first? Where it was like 
well, it wasn't where we, we weren't conscious of the time anymore. We exactly. Like we just exactly. We were willing to get lost in the conversation. And right. However long it went, it went. I think mm-hmm. that's, that's about when it started. So yeah, that's a great pick. Great um, pick. White Sox, so Dave, you're up. Um, I was down to two. Uh, it, I did not have that draft um, this high. That's easily a first round video, maybe first overall. But uh, I got Mr. Portnoy for for my my one grievances draft. The grievances, the grievances draft. draft. It's the hardest I've ever seen you laugh in any situation, let alone a snake draft. Chris Berman, <laughs> Car Shield commercial. Chris Berman. <laughs> I'm sorry, but just to be clear, we got Chris Berman and Car Seal commercials and cash only. I, sorry. I mean, you were like getting an abdominal workout, like keeled over, like doing ab crunches. I was like, in tears. In tears. And you had your finger up, like trying to tell the camera, like, hold on, I'm almost done. And you'd start talking and you'd just start fucking, you'd lose it again. But, but like, my, I started watching it again this morning. The little subtle, like, who, what, you talking to me? Like, those, that's what made me laugh the hardest. Not even his complaints and grievances. It was all his little just, like, the little, like, corpse he had. Uh, outrageous human being. Um, I had never said a word to him in my life. Just but that, the images, like, Tom. Absolutely fucking hilarious draft. Yeah. Um, that, would, that was my number one. Just because I, yeah. I, I could Cash not vote lies. for something, like, that I've laughed, like, arguably the hardest to... Ever. It was like that when he's like, <laughs> he goes back to back with Chris Berman and <laughs> commercials and not having five items or less exact change checkout. It was just like the, it was perfect. Like he, he was perfect. I, we have to find a way to get him back on again. I don't like that. Be like trying to like re duplicate the, the Sistine Chapel, you know, the ceiling of the Sistine you. Chapel. He had a perfect performance. Yeah. He was hilarious. He was old and confused, like you said a few times. <laughs> just an all-time funny snake draft. Bro, you just got to search my Twitter handle and Grievances Draft, and you'll find it. I promise you. Okay. All right. Um, they, uh, sorry, what were you going to say? No, I, I was uh, just on the note of looking these up. Just type barstool draft don't t- don't say dog if you say because then you'll get the main one from the barstool sports account that has like three and a half million followers and all the impressions are on it gotcha um i wasn't here for this one yeah you're yeah, in yeah, omaha yeah, yeah, yeah. i think and i believe i was in between i was like in south carolina and before i left you guys were like hey we're gonna draft grievances on monday and i was like i have no idea what like what do you mean and you're like grievances like stuff you have grievances against and I remember going to South Carolina and thinking hard, like, all right, I gotta, I gotta get creative for this fucking grievances draft. I get a call from Jen that's like, hey, do you want to go to Omaha, you know, and go with Brandon? I was like, yeah, absolutely. Now, when it came up and you guys were doing the grievances draft and we're figuring out while I'm in Omaha, am I gonna do red line? Am I gonna do snake drafts? I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do any of this stuff. Good luck with the grievances draft. I thought for sure this thing was gonna bomb so fucking hard. <laughs> I'm in Omaha. And I'm just like, it, it, like all the buzz around Barstool Chicago. One of the biggest drafts that we've done. Some of the most viral moments. I couldn't have been more wrong about how the outcome of this draft is going to come. And, it, and a lot of it, Eddie, I'd be interested to hear your perspective of like, what's it? You went viral for a laugh. Like, uh, yeah, the draft yeah. is best known for how you couldn't keep your shit together. I lost it, man. I completely <laughs> lost it just because how, like, he could have complained about anything in the world. And it's Chris Berman in a and, fucking local a, car dealership. Yeah, Chris Berman in a commercial <laughs> and, and and something not existing. You know what I mean? It wasn't so, like that. That's what really got me was it's not even like, oh, a, I, a I hate concrete. Yes, thing. I hate long checkout lines. No, it was like, no, this, that these ones don't exist. <laughs> the fact that the word exists was on there is what really made me cry. I'm also thinking that it would be a, a better solution. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. It's just an awful, awful idea. Like, you pay with a credit or debit card, and that's uh, your exact change. Right. And at this point, you don't even have to swipe it. You like, can just gonna, tap it. You're going to count out like 63 cents. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's unre- and then What? Like, I'm old. I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> He's like Uncle Leo. And then even like reading his other ones right now, uh, people who beep too quick. <laughs> He really like, is Larry David. Like, yeah. uh, then, his, then his fourth round pick was young salespeople. And then, and then his last pick was uh, doctor's rackets, 
which actually is pretty valid. That is, yeah. that is valid. Yeah, but oh my god, <laughs> it was. A, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what more I can say because I just it was just so fucking people, funny. People who beep too quick was, <laughs> was really funny too. <laughs> who was the uh, with Dante on that? Yeah, yeah he feels yeah. it for you. Yeah. Which number is he on this? Number four? Uh two, I believe. Yeah, he had a good draft. I remember people who rush off the plane, blasting mm -hmm. music in public. People who don't use uh, turn signals. Uh, Netflix. What's that say? Wow. Top Netflix, ten, the top, top section, ten on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. And then driving in the left lane. Um, but yeah, great draft. Great, great pick. That would have been my. First where did pick. Where did we have that? The, that uh, yeah, that's what I wanted when I said third, and I was like, oh fuck, I should be one. I want to yeah. take grievances. I got you. Grievances was the resounding number one overall. Wow. 30.29%, 30, 30 2,345 people had it on their board. Wow. Dude, that's, I mean, it was I'm all glad what everyone. A, what a Mr. Holy fuck. I'm glad everyone thought that was as funny as I did. Because it, was, it, was, it was. It really was. It's fucking, still funny. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, that'll be one of those things I'll watch at social clip like two, three years down the road and just like randomly I, on a Tuesday afternoon and just laugh my ass I've off. I've probably pulled it up like four times since we've done it. Like, you know, like we, how, that was like six months ago, probably it was 25 drafts ago. Yeah, it was in the summer. Yeah, so I would say in the last six months, I probably just randomly watched it like four times. I thought we were going to have to pause. I thought we were going to have to pause. <laughs> I really did. It was, I couldn't get it together. My friend from Wooster. Wooster, yeah. Wooster. He didn't know Dante's name either, so he just kept yeah, going, my, <laughs> my Wooster friend over there. He didn't know anybody's name but <laughs> my yours. My Wooster friend, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we got to get him back. He's yeah. so funny. I love him. Um, Congrats, Mr. Portnoy. Yeah. You're the number one guy. Um, all right, number three, Chief, you're up. All right, so that was my that was my number one. I wish I had positioned myself in the draft a little bit better to get that because grievances is the best. And now I th I'm trying to think, and I think the other time where I laughed so hard was Dave with the music videos draft. Yeah, that was, so I was you, down to that one or yeah. this one, but I didn't want to draft myself. Right, yeah, but that draft with you and Roan, and that was like horny Dave – painting the Mona Lisa like that was that was your best work I you know smash <laughs> smash those puppies that wasn't that one no that was, that's that didn't originate there no, no. Didn't oh originate wow there. Yeah. well you definitely said it I just kept day. asking Ed if he would like <laughs> yeah. how long he would last with don't even bring the person yeah don't bring the yeah, stopwatch yeah. that's actually became kind of a thing leave like, the stopwatch at like, home we should put that on a t-shirt we should you know. put yeah. that on a t-shirt we should absolutely put that on a t-shirt <laughs> like I'll I'll tweet a picture I'll, I'll just like respond to like Kelly Keegs and Ten people are like, I'll be like, oh yeah, I like cheeseburgers too, like nothing remotely sexual or horny. And people are like, ten people leave the stopwatch at home, Dave. <laughs> like I become that guy. <laughs> That's the hardest I think I've ever seen you laugh. I was I was dying. It was it was those are, to me are the top two. What were we in New York for that for? Do you remember? It was either the uh, dozen trivia or it was the I uh, think that's what it was. Yeah. New Amsterdam video. Yeah, it was such like a delirious trip too. Like we went out there back to back weeks. Yeah, and, like we're like, hey, we just got to get a snake draft in, and it turned into just a room of horny. <laughs> and, I um, mean, <laughs> rightfully so, considering the yeah. draft topic. <laughs> for sure. Like look but at I, fucking no, Jessica not, Simpson right there waxing the car with her ass cheeks. I didn't get horny till the fourth or fifth round on this either. I was like actually being like, oh, I know this is a this was oh. big when it came out. It was directed at one mm -hmm. MTV. Yeah. You guys are like, no, we're just trying to get horny. Dave's <laughs> yeah. like Emily Radzikowski. <laughs> that was your race that's, in the hole. Yeah. I mean, can you give us the, that <sighs> blurred lines music video <laughs> introduced me to what might just be the best pair of tits on planet Earth. I was like, who is that girl? Oh. Instantly Tiff. Google. I think I did. I win this one. I don't know. I don't know who. If, if there's a way to pull it up, pull it up, please. Um, but uh, Jessica Simpson, that that was yeah. my, that was my work of art number three. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's a good pick. That was a that was that was definitely a fun one. Um, where was that on the list as well? So surprisingly, that was all the way down at number thirty six. Wow! Really? Yeah, mm. surprise. Took me a second to find it. Uh, hmm. Had um, 4.6% of the votes, 354 people had it on their board. Well, that is right on brand for me. Just pick something that nobody else apparently likes. I, I would have drafted <laughs> that. I could have seen, argued that goal number one. I, I thought it was a hilarious draft. 
and I did not anticipate it being a hilarious draft, and I was I was dying. I was dying laughing. I think I want to say less than ten percent of our drafts has the guest in person, and that was one of the, one of the first or one of the very few early off yeah. where we. And that was to do with someone. 66. 66, yeah. Yep. All right, then. Uh, music video draft is off the board. Um, audience, Tom, uh, audience's first pick. What was number two? If grievances so, was runaway one. Yeah, so audience, we, we're getting, uh, yeah, the number two overall is the road trip draft. Oh. Mm. Mm. I really like that one, too. Really? I did, too. Yeah. That, that, that was, was trend, one right? of the most yeah. balanced, competitive yeah, conversations, trend. like... Like, we were arguing about whether or not you could take, if I took Red Bull, could you get sugar-free Red Bull? If yeah. I took Gatorade, could you get G2? Could you yep. get Riptide Rush or Orange? Was, that was chaos. And then we had the... We almost started the draft over. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely ran into a huge hiccup there. We all, That also birthed the, uh, the dust-off. You guys had a dust that off. That is true. That yeah. is true. That you were, did. Yeah. Which oh, yeah. I won. Iconic. <laughs> you did not think, win. I don't think you did. I won. No, you didn't. I, know think why you, I, I think you had worse doo doo fingers than Ed did. So Ed won. Oh, the dust off. The dust off, yeah. So this this one got uh, 19.6% of the vote. 1,521 people had it on their board. Okay. That's good. Yeah, I, I agree with the audience. I think this was a really good one. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, the only bad part was we were just morons and we couldn't figure out the rules. This was probably around where. No, I mean, maybe where, where Red Ed started around. No, maybe. I thought Red Ed actually started Sooner. on. On radio sooner, yeah, yeah, that's how that, yes, but yeah. then it morphed into the commissioner red, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, we were asking dictator. you to make rulings on the spot, oh, you yeah, know, it was a big veto on this one, right? Um, well, I'm looking now and I'm seeing okay, somebody takes Mountain Dew Code Red, but then the Gatorade and Dor oh, you know what it was? The problem the was Doritos. Someone yeah. when you took Doritos 10th overall, and we allowed Gatorade to sneak in at eighth, eighth overall, you got all the Gatorade. That, yeah. was, that was the yeah. My yeah. problem was was I didn't the reason why and like you, the hard part about these is once you're once you throw the ball once the jump ball happens you, you do the tip like you can't put it back <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean the ref can't take the ball back <laughs> so when you to whoever took a Red Bull number one overall I was like all right I don't want someone to take sugar free Red Bull because mm -hmm. I know a lot of people prefer that I think that would ruin the spirit of it so that's what kind of got in my head but whatever long explanation two years later or whatever <laughs> Not that anybody needs it, uh, but I think that's a good pick by the audience. I'm surprised it's two, though. I, I'll yeah. be honest. I'm I, I am it's surprised it's two. Yeah, because yeah. I would have it. I, I mean, I haven't ranked the full thing, but I would definitely have it behind those three. It was interesting watching the data come into because it, it wasn't number two or number one in the beginning. Like it kind of came out. Oh, I, so you're the trying past, to say Trent? The past like ten or twelve the hours. Polls? I don't. I very much doubt that. I'm joking. Who won this one? Does anyone remember? I did. Sorry, squeak. You, you I did. did. Yeah. You did. Nice. Um, all right. So it's to me. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I'm gonna go with. And, and honestly, it, it's a little. Uh, I'm well. I'm happy that the clip went re not re viral, but like in our world, then within the last month, and it's got to go with the Halloween candy draft, and that's for two reasons. Clem. A is because Clem. Yes, that was. I that think that was a second appearance though. Mm -hmm. But still, Clem was just such a professional, and I think Clem brings so much to these drafts. And then B is obviously the Eminem situation with White Sox Dave, where he thought that. <laughs> yeah, he thought that I didn't say that. I said people <laughs> One of the have best told clips me that. ever, yeah. and I was waiting because people fucking. Well, let me, me say, it. people, day. people, you thought that people thought. <laughs> That M and I that was talking about Skittles. That M and M's but have you, different. No, you flavor. were. Call, I know. Calls. I forget exactly what how it went because I'm so sick of watching the like. I I will not watch a clip. If Danny's you an expert me. on it, but <laughs> like I remember th someone saying well, but like, I, but I, like I was all over that too. Skittles like Danny, like there's something I definitely bonded with Danny about too. Like that clip has been because even when he says it, you could see my face. I'm like, wait, people. Like, people don't, and then you're like, M&Ms, and then everyone's like, and then Dave's reaction is perfect. He's like, yeah, I think that. I mean, I could play it. Do we yeah. want to play the, it? The, the three don't. of us didn't, like, shit on Dave for that comment. We were just kind of, like, putting our toes in the water. Like, yeah, we just want to yeah, make yeah. sure we get this take figured like, out Do you want to clarify? I, I don't know yeah, what cheap. I... Do you mind? Cheap I playing? have it. Do you want me to play it? Yeah, yeah you play, can play it. it. So, M&Ms, come they come in all different colors. Mm -hmm. I don't think people realize none of them taste different. 
they're all the exact same, just different colors. Starburst, you have the variety, actually. So they have that going for them. Wait, you're saying people don't realize that M&M's, the colors there's don't taste different? Yeah, there's not like a yellow, the, the yellow people flavor People don't taste. realize people that? People think that the yellow tastes different than red when it comes to M&M's? I think pe- some people assume that, sure. M&M's. I mean, yes. We're not talking Skittles, right? Chocolate. You mean the chocolate? <laughs> yes. You think people think it's a red chocolate? <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. Do they? You said they do. You I said think, people I let me help you some, out here. The Fruit Loops, like change that argument to Fruit Loops. There you go. There's no. another one. Do people actually think that about M and M's? I thought they did. I don't do know. You, Dave? No, I don't. Uh, They're all the same. Unbelievable, David. Yeah, <laughs> Un- I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I yeah. don't know where that came from. I swear to God, I, I. I Thought. But we asked you, you're not talking about Skittles, are you? Yeah. No. I mean, That's I was, what I meant, though. The chocolate. I was talking Someone about goes, the chocolate. You go, yeah, the chocolate. No. I was talking about, I think I was thinking Skittles. Tay, there's no way. I don't, no I don't know. Way. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what was going through my brain, okay? Just talk up your hands and just say you don't know. That's I'm doing that right now. I don't know. I mean, one of my favorite moment. clips that come out, too. Like, I, you know, we're always putting promo clips, social clips. <laughs> Like that just is pr- if you Incredible. if we were just wiped at Thanos we just wiped off the face of the earth and they're like what was yeah. what what about the snake draft was great we would just play that clip Thanks it was so good what was so, that no I'm just letting you guys know that that came in at number eighteen Ooh, overall okay seven point two percent of the vote okay um Halloween candy draft that classic moment paired with like the real like oh Clem is such a professional that was Clem's great yeah that was th- that that yeah, Clem and Rico are the two best guests, I would say. Um, no offense to both anybody very else, good. of course. Um, all right, then I get another pick here. I'm going to go with maybe not a classic moment on this draft, but all, one, this one definitely drew some of the most engagement we had, and people were very passionate about it. And I want to say it's one of the more downloaded ones was the sandwich draft with Jim wow. Graziano. Um, it's on my list. And it was one of those drafts where, like, coming in like we debated like doing like a create your own perfect sandwich draft Mm -hmm. and you know you get like a meat uh, a a topping or whatever i'm glad we did this because there was just so many things to choose yeah there were so many things to choose um i i got made fun of for having a five-year-old draft white Sox dave got made fun of for going heavy uh what did you go heavy barbecue i believe it was i forget we'll pull it up here in a second but um yeah sandwich draft you said fuck carl you wanted that one yeah, I wanted that one too because I, I, what I like so much about the soda draft we talked about was like Frank coming in and just owning that shit. Like, Jim, it cannot be under or overstated, whichever one that is, mm-hmm. how much that fucking guy knows about sandwiches. For real. He, yeah. I mean, it's not like when he started talking about the Spanish barbacoa or what the fuck was that thing? The Samita? Samita. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness! And in mm-hmm. his reactions to Oliver's, and then explaining like, well, here's why that sandwich is popular in this area, <laughs> and this and that. Great, great. Some of the best expertise we've had, and one of the, I think, uh, only two or three no. guests have not been at barstool people. Yeah, he was yeah. one of them. Um, yeah, Dave. I don't. But you got. Sh- I can't remember why exactly everyone was shitting on you for the brisket, but I remember people were. Yeah, fucking brisket is awesome. Were you shitting on him, Chief? Yeah, brisket? Chief was. I remember. Yeah, Chief was. I like brisket. I just oh, don't, you don't, I don't like think it on it, a sandwich. I, I don't like it on a sandwich, and I don't think it's the best like barbecue yeah. sandwich. But, mm-hmm. which I drafted. What I coming out of fucking burrata guy over here. Burrata's great. I thought that was a really good draft, and I also Brisket's thought I had great. an ace in the hole with the ice cream sandwich in the fifth round. I was proud of that. Um, where was that on the list, Tom? Tom? That was uh, number 11 overall, okay. 13.1%. Hmm. Okay. I remember that was a I'm, Carl favorite too. I, I'm surprised by some of these results. Yeah, so are you? Very yeah. surprised. Um, yeah. Well, all right then. Uh, White Sox day or the audience? Yeah, the so, audience is up against. So far, really haven't had anything Fuck stolen man. from the audience. Yeah. So audience is gonna get his audience number gets three. his number three overall with uh, Sports Divas yeah. with Ryan Wiggins. Yeah. yeah, I had that too. Nineteen point two percent of the vote. I was hoping that would get back. That to was going to be my next one. He so Zlatan. I thought that. He was a perfect guest solely because he listens to every guest. And I don't know if, like, all the guys out in New York listen to every single draft or not. But he came He came in with, like... He was ready to he go. He was ready to go. And he's like, I'm going to fucking beat the shit out of these four idiots from Chicago. Just ready to roll. I remember... Maybe I think it was he did like win. Too. Didn't he force himself on, like, onto the yeah, show? Yeah, he won. No, I don't know. No, no like, it wasn't. It wasn't like, he forced himself this. on the show... 
we were like trying it was like rico was had a couple of good guest appearances and maybe clem and it was kind of like well why don't we try and make this more of like a guest thing and then it the snake draft started to get a little bit bigger and it was like oh it'd be fun if like we could get portnoy on or like you think mm-hmm. kfc like we just started thinking about like some of the more notable people and it was like maybe yeah, if Whitney's got time, like I think maybe he would do it. And it was like, yo, Whit just reached out about coming on. Yeah, exactly. It was like within yeah. that week where it was yeah. like, yeah, maybe, maybe we should figure out a way to get. He's like, Whitney I listen to every one of these. And then like days <laughs> later, he's like, you fucking pigeons, fucks. Yeah, like if you know, who, like if you know us and you know how the drafts work, like you're like you'll have a fucking. Love a good draft, and he, right. Whitney, you pair that with a guy like him. It was just he's unreal. a loud, obnoxious fucking Irishman from Massachusetts with a butt chin. <laughs> well, he hates your guts. Whitney doesn't hate my guts. I know, David. Whitney fucking loves me. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him though. He's a fucking little. He's such a. He's a run. You got That's like a big is. brother, little brother kind of thing. He's a run. Can you tell me one more time what was Halloween candy? Sorry, I'm just gonna write down the rank. Yeah, series. Halloween candy was number 18 overall. Okay, and then what was music video? Music video was 36. Six. Okay, cool. Sorry, I just want to get all those. Just an interesting note about that too. With uh, the number two and number three overall, were back to back dog walks. Road trip was episode 48. Sports Divas was episode 49. Ah, you guys got kind of uh, in a groove there. Damn, a little heater. Yeah. Um, nice. Yeah. Did, did uh yeah I mean there's Ryan Whitney I don't know what yeah. more there's to say it was funny uh, I I do I do regret AI in the first round I still stand by that he is draftable but I should have went somewhere else there yeah this popped up again like two weeks ago I uh, still get shit for that though uh, RA like retweeted it for some reason and he's like this fucking idiot White Sox Dave drafted Cam Neely and. Like, all the hockey fans on, like, chiclets and everything were coming at my neck. They're like, you fucking moron. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, dude, listen to the episode. You'll know. I drafted him only because he was in Dumb and Dumber, not because of anything else. I don't know if he's a diva or not. He's, like, the only hockey guy I can think of. Yeah, yeah. I feel you, Dave. <clears throat> but that it popped up again a few weeks ago. Sports divas, worthy selection by mm-hmm. the audience. Uh, Chief, you're up again. Are we going to Chief? I'm sorry? I said, are we going to Chief? I mean, probably. <sighs> Do it. I will go with what I think ended up becoming one of those like benchmark where it was like a huge discussion point with everyone in the office. I feel like after that, like the main account maybe started paying attention. To it. it was the Thanksgiving draft. Is gravy aside, and that was like that was a fun draft, and then. You know, not a viral moment, but a, a clip that like got a, a ton of engagement. And KFC like did the whole blog about it. And I and I love KFC. I think KFC is in the running for one of the best guests um, for the, for the snake draft. And that to me, I thought that was like a, a big moment and a fun draft. Because Eddie, do you veto? I I am last. I am a tiebreaker of sorts. No, have a fucking backbone. I am one a time, Ed. Of put yourself out there. I don't think gravy is a side. Oh, wow. that's a veto. That's a veto. Oh, did I say veto or not, Chief? <laughs> wow. I'm going to do what you did. I'm going to argue is, against it. Uh, I mean, you should be a fucking alderman. KFC, you vetoed? No. I, 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 Again, I hate to be like this, this middle-of-the-road pussy, but I've never been more 50-50 on something in my life. I can understand the compelling argument for both sides. You guys uh, give me one second. It was assumed by the rest of the game. One second. One second. Is he going to get the gravy boat? <laughs> yeah, there it is. That's a nice gravy boat. Oh boy, be... got its own fucking boat, but it's not a side. It might, it might as Correct. well be. <laughs> Carl, can we put you down for green bean casserole here, or what are we doing? <laughs> Go fuck yourself is what you can do. That was a good one. Yeah, um, and it's also just like a classic. Like you can't Thanksgiving. You knew it was coming, and you mm-hmm. can't really redo it. You can't replicate it. What did the audience have on that? Man, my draft stunk. <laughs> well, you get last pick's tough. Thanks, Thanksgiving draft was number 17 overall. Okay. Okay. 7.5% of the of the vote. How do you feel about that, Chief? Uh, I'm like I'm not I'm not trying to like play to what I think yeah, the yeah. audience. It's just ones that will like stick out in my brain and that, that really like good. that like you know, that one um Oh my god! I'm so sorry. I'm blanking on her name, but she does Mackenzie. like Mackenzie. Thank you. She does the voiceover. Oh, it's like yeah, she did yeah. voiceover for that. I thought that was like a very good clip, and uh, yeah, I just thought oh, it was. That one. She does yeah. an awesome job at those too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I thought, yeah, that was a good draft. Yeah, that was a good draft and like a great moment. So no, we started with Halloween, where that was seasonal. 
Yeah, and I yeah. remember That's you being was, like, "Yo, yes. we should do a Thanksgiving." But it was a couple weeks before that. I think it was the first yes, time. Yes, you are correct. Because we didn't do a Fourth of July draft, and I don't want to get into anything. No, we're not gonna spoil anything. But no, we did the following year in 2021. You right. were still in Omaha for that, but um, I mean, it was an America draft. But regardless, you're right. You're right. This was like the first really seasonal. Mm-hmm. I think or Halloween. Uh, uh, Halloween candy was we Halloween. Were, candy. No, no, no. There was more. There was yeah. more seasonal. Side, yeah, before that. Yeah. Um, we're not giving away picks. We're being smart right. here. Um, so, all right, Thanksgiving next off the board. Uh, White Sox. Dave, you're up again. I am going with events you wish you attended with KFC for my next pick. That was with yeah. RA. I thought. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Yeah, it was. Oh no. Was it? It was RA. Oh no. RA. What was your favorite thing about that draft, Dave? <laughs> I well, I'm talking about the one with uh, the Corona bat. That yeah, was RA. Nice that was RA. Time. That was RA. Okay, that's the one I'm going with. Okay, then. that's like yeah. another one. <laughs> that's like another, <laughs> that clip where I think Tom, you made that clip where you like stitched yeah, it all, all together. That's all time. Yeah, that, that was two. You got that's yeah. another one that you we got, should just you got play. two inches of White Sox Dave's forehead during the entire episode. <laughs> I was in a hotel. I think I was in New York for that. Yeah, I was somewhere. Just in a pitch black hotel room with the top of your forehead because you forgot that you're on camera, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I, I that don't know. was uh, after M and M's. Was that the second like biggest foot in your mouth moment? <laughs> Me? Yeah. <laughs> no, I wish I would could no, tell that fucking mean? guy what to it, put the bat down. But yeah, you, but, but you're the one that has put like, the bat down. Do you man. not? Can we play that clip then? I want to go back and find that fucking asshole who ate the fucking bat that started this bullshit pandemic. I don't want to be a fly on the wall and be like, put that fucking bat down. Your whole logic was, I'm going to go back and save the world from corona. You can't. We've already established those rules. We never established the rules. That's kind of just how we were all operating. You said repeatedly today, too, that that it's fly on the wall. That it's fly on the wall. I said, I want to pick it contingent upon me telling him to put the fucking bat down that he ate that started this bullshit. But we already established that earlier with with Eddie. And you're the one who established it. yourself, Dave. You're contradicting your own fucking rule. It's official. Dave is having dinner with the guy who ate the coronavirus bat. Yeah, this was, you don't remember what you said? You Not pre- really. You okay. precisely <laughs> made the rules of how you interpreted it, and then you went back on that. Oh, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Now I remember. <laughs> kind of. I remember there was, like, some, I don't know. Well, like, we're not going back in time to, like, change events. No, no, no. Okay, no, we're not doing that. Great. Well, I'm going to go back in time and tell it them all to makes sense. the down. It makes sense in my head. I So I drafted it just out of – I want to – I'm curious <laughs> to know the origin of the c- coronavirus that we've been dealing with for – Two years now, but like, I w- that was just like an additive. Like, I, yeah, I'd tell him to put the bat down. But like, I wish I was there out of curiosity. Whatever it was, if it was a bat dude, if it was a lab <laughs> you're, leak, you're trying, you're trying to spin it again. I'm you're not like, trying to I'm spin gonna it. save my baseball season by putting that, getting this guy to put the bat down. You were not like just intellectual uh, curiosity. Whatever, whatever it was, whatever it was, it was a good draft. Um, do, do you, I, I don't I think do, you remember it at all. Do you? Wanna, I, do, you I do remember because I was say? in a hotel bed. Do you want to go back and say what you said for the Eminem situation? You don't know what you were thinking? <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> this is actually very validating and rewarding <laughs> for us who sit here with this guy every day and has to hear this kind of stuff. I mean, I dominate you in every single one versus one debate we've ever had. That's not true. That is true. Uh, do you, did you find it there? No, I can't find the clip right now. But essentially, you said that you, if you go back to the historical event, you can't change anything. Like the, yeah, the you want to be a fly on the wall. But then you promptly said after that you're going to go back and basically change history by eliminating Corona. I, w- I will reiterate. <laughs> I wanted to. S- I want to be on the fly on the wall to see how coronavirus started, and. Even though it was against the rules, I would still be like, yo, dude, just put the goddamn bat down. Like, you're about to <laughs> shut the entire world down. That's a big oh, even, though. Man. That's all right. We'll find a clip later. We'll, we'll throw it on the show. <clears throat> that uh, came in at uh, number 19. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I, I just think I, I remember, like, one of the funniest parts about that argument was, like, at the end when, like, you just had to concede, like, yeah, you're right. We can't change anything. So Ari was like, all right, so just we're, just so we're clear, he just wants to have dinner with that guy. And, like, that's it. Like, you're just going to have a one-on-one dinner with that guy who ate the bat and just Unreal, get to know him. Unreal, David. Unreal. Um, Carl, you're up. Um, do we, there's some heavy hitters from the audience that we have not sniffed out. Yeah? Yeah, there's uh, – 
four and five are a still few on the left board. in the yeah. top ten. A bunch of top tens. Yeah. The audience is saying there's the full round of first round picks still available. Yeah, they're saying that. Yeah, they have a. Yeah. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna take the draft where I think we had the most fun doing it, and it's the most fun draft we've ever done. I think there was there wasn't a. There's not a second in this draft where we were not complimenting each other, laughing hysterically. Each story hit. I'm taking the Adam Sandler side character draft with PFT. I mean, I, I loved it. That was a great you know. one. That was, from our perspective, sitting in the chair, that's my favorite one we've done. Like, I know, like, what listen, topics, all stuff, but from, like, pure, when we got done, I was like, holy fuck, that was, like, the most fun I've ever had at work in my life. Yeah, it was just like the boys smiling for an yeah. hour and a half. Like we were just having yeah. fun, joking, no, uh, no contentious arguments. You know, it was it, w- it was just a fun draft. I love. See, that. I'm one of our great categories too. I mean, it's like yeah, chips, but like the fact that there were this many, there's this many Adam Sandler shit to draft, um, and the story, like it didn't get old. I don't know. Yeah, I'm looking at the list now, and I couldn't tell you who's who. Like they're all pretty even. I know I won this one. Um, I had uh, you had shooter, right? yeah, shooter McGavin, Ver- Veronica Vaughn, hockey putter, Robbie Hart, and uh, the bus driver. Um, I don't remember. I, I couldn't th- tell you who I had. Yeah, I think you had the second one, Chief. I want to say, uh, maybe. yeah, like yep. Chubbs' his hand, Glenn yeah. Gulia. Um, this was a very fun draft. Yeah. I liked it, so I like your pick. Thanks. And, and this is also, I should say too, like. This is all in a sense. It's like you're, you're killing your child, your children here. Like I liked a lot of these, so mm-hmm. it's 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 the discrepancy is not much. The variance argument with Dave is like, so I we're gonna draft who we draft, but it's just it's hard to really differentiate. At least I had a hard time. Actually, you know what? I remember I had number three because I I was very glad to get Farmer Fran. I, I, yeah. And they're just like all like confused, <laughs> looking at him like. I had a third overall. Where was, where did uh where did the audience have this one? Audience had this at number 13 oh. overall with 12.7%. Yeah, pretty high. That is pretty high. That's higher than I thought. But, like, we haven't really cracked any of the top 10. Like, kind all, of. I'm yeah. about, I mean, I have one that I know for sure is going to be top In the 10. top 10. Right, but I like it. the Adam Sandler one more because th- this was, I fucked up this draft, but I'm taking it anyways. I fucked it up in the third round. I got on an airplane. I got cute. I'm taking the air conditioning draft with Rico. Mm-hmm. That was, that was like, uh, maybe the first draft with a guest where it was like, I think we all came into that draft being like, we're going to put up a good fucking board. Like, we all love air conditioning. It's all near and dear to our heart. Rico mm. comes in the shore house pick. You have been out of shore house? <laughs> I'm like, no, I've never been to a shore house, but I love the pick. Yep. Draft. Dave taken four different variations of working outside and then going inside his house. <laughs> <laughs> I still get oh, shit Oh, dude, for that look too. how old this fucking graphic yeah. is, too. This yeah. might be one of the earlier ones we've this taken. This has the names long. on it. I think this is before Ken Jack. Before oh, Tom. Church yeah. AC in the fourth round. Oh, yeah. Be one of my weird. favorite picks ever. Yeah, this is an old one. Variation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this was. Uh, no, that's what White Sox Dave did. He pulled the wool over all of our eyes for some reason. I think he won. When he you're hung win. over at yeah. home, after you do your hard work after and you go inside. After football doubles. <laughs> yeah, White Sox Dave won. <laughs> a, a much deserved win. My <laughs> Very, I mean, who doesn't like stepping inside after doubles? Tom, did you play football? Yeah. Uh, Rugby. No, like uh, never like on like a high school team. I, just, that was I the played 20th. the sport of football, though. The, the 20th draft we ever did. Um, Wait. That was a great one. I am going to go with one in that I don't think should make it to the third round, even though I can technically get it in the third round. I'm going to go with after high school football doubles AC. All right, so my last two picks, I think. All right, so we all had our strategy coming in today, and we knew it was going to be a wonky draft. I think I just, like, didn't think too much at all. I'm going with two really, really easy ones. I'm going for my fourth round pick. I'm going to go after yard work AC. That's an awesome, awesome AC. I'm starting to have a problem with Dave's. Yeah, it's just like it's just like going back <laughs> into like, the house after doing something. Yeah, AC. yeah. you've it's already gone right. back into the house after doubles. You've already gone. But it's just like Dave going into his house at three. It's just, yeah, it's just Dave's house should be. So his. you you pick guys. Let future. him keep drafting. He's got yeah. twelve tight ends. We're gonna win the draft. Don't worry about it. He's got twelve tight ends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was uh, just made like a month ago too. We had a, was it? Yeah, that's for great. this moment. 
That's unbelievable. I mean, it's so true, though. How do we let that happen? That's why I had to. That's why Red Hat had to had to come about. That's why the veto system happened because of this that, draft. Yeah. That's <laughs> not true. That was draft number twenty. Yeah. You think uh, that was the first was, time there was a veto? I don't know. It's a good question. Um, there. The, what did uh? What was the what was the audience? That was number nine. Number so nine? it was a top ten. Okay. Yeah, that had a uh, top ten. Let me see, eighteen point two percent of the vote. Okay, number nine. Uh, great pick. Mm. It's just a classic too, and that's just why I love Rico because that's what, like, he's so funny, and that's just how his brain works. Like, yeah. there were so many things we could have done, and he would just always be relentless on me. Like, yo, let's do air conditioning. Let's do air conditioning. I was like, all right, I love it. Let's do it. So, shout out to There's Rico. There's some good a- ACs on that draft board right there. Mm-hmm. Wait, I, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Thirteen point two percent. Misspoke there. Okay, 13. but that was number I, nine. Number nine. Yeah, it's still yeah. number nine. I just misread my own handwriting. Um, White Sox, Dave, you're up again. Uh, I'm going t- for one, not necessarily the funniest, but perhaps like real world most informative. I'm going dog breeds with chaps. Yeah. Like I learned a shit ton that day. I know you've consulted chaps for your dog. I've done the exact same. Uh, I thought he was excellent. I think that was by far the most serious and yeah. interesting draft. We've right, ever for done. sure. Yeah. Um, we got to come up with a good draft to do with him when he's here. Yeah, yeah he hit talking. me up yesterday. He didn't have a choice. He didn't have a choice to listen to us talk about dogs without being like, all right, now I got to I gotta shape these opinions. And, yeah. like, mm-hmm. you know, he mm-hmm. it was like a, a, a an obligation chaps carried through perfectly on the show. Yeah, like fits right in with Frank and uh, – Jim Graziano with like just being right, an expertise, exactly. and he could tell it was it was super super informative, and it, it was a good draft. Um, Dominant win from Carl with forty one point three percent, which oh. makes absolutely no sense. He had a golden retriever, Siberian husky, French bulldog, a German short haired pointer, and a corgi, mm. the internet's dog. Mm. Do we? What uh, number was that, Tom? I can't. Sorry, I just was. I can't find that graphic anywhere. It's all right. Just, <coughs> we'll just keep moving along, and if you find it, uh, uh, sorry, the graphic. Yeah, no, well, yeah, where was it on yeah, the list? What was uh, the list? Sorry, I lost my place because I was trying to find the graphic. Sorry, it's all good. Uh, that was number sixteen overall. Okay, okay. Right, eight point four percent. Yeah, pretty. Man, pretty good. what are we fucking missing? Uh, I. I got I got some that that are in the back of my mind. Are you I, third or fifth? I'm fifth, so I still got a while. So I'm gonna the audience is gonna get a great pick here because Chief's probably gonna fumble. Um, <laughs> I mean, the way how Jesus. casually you said that. Yeah, like it was, can you take that? No, I'm kidding, Chief. I, it's it's in the spirit of the draft. That is the spirit of the draft. You shit on bias the audience, red ed, and shit on. <laughs> you're like draft. leading the audience you're, like a fucking yeah. attorney. You're up, yeah. Chief. V, uh, veto. Um. Actually, you can't veto anything in this draft, technically. No, I know. Hmm. Trying to decide what I want. That's you know a good which, point. One, which and, one? Unless you pick the wrong guest, like White Sox did. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was mixing two up. Now <laughs> you picked. I got my bearings back. Okay. Draft. <laughs> I Thanks. still had fucking Jessica Simpson's ass in my in my brain. It was all foggy <laughs> from when he pulled up that music video graphic. What do we got, Chief? Hmm. Struggling, struggling. All right, I'm going to take one that I thought was funny, even though like my ass was in the jackpot. Um, it was just chaos. It was the Halloween shit draft with Smitty. Oh, fuck you! I'm still mad at you for this. Why? You're still mad at me for that? You didn't no. do a good job of commissioning. I'm not mad at you, but I, the, I were remember, you going to take it? I remember having like a uh, like like a, a mini meltdown on the on that episode because of because of uh, commissioner confusion. Yeah, obviously I didn't care, but it was poor just, leadership, I would say. Um, Another dominant win from Carl with 44.3% oh. of the vote. Do we have a – what's the biggest vote ever? Summertime so, barbecue. So that yeah. was um, – that was so, so the Halloween shit draft was – I think he had like one villain, had like one classic villain. Yeah. Like one – You won like goblins. One, yeah, yeah I forgot exactly what the subcategories were. One scary movie, one classic monster, okay. one group costume, one activity, one miscellaneous. Yeah. And then – you, I don't know. I Trick or treating I, was the activity. That's why I won. Yeah, yeah, I took I took Jason and something else. You took Jason when that should have been ca- classified as a movie because we weren't saying right. Yes, right, right, you right. Should've, we had to take like vampire and shit like that and Dracula. Um, but 
I enjoyed that draft, but I, I don't who know. won that one? Carl. Carl. All right. I should have won just by my last pick alone. What miscellaneous? The please take one candy bowl. That was a good pick. Yeah, but Dave, you drafted that as like uh, you liked putting out the you like putting it out. No, I didn't. No, he didn't. Why would I do that? Um, I mean, obviously, Dave didn't draft <laughs> okay, it as okay, putting okay. it out. Yeah, what, Dave, um, Dave likes putting the take one candy ball out at his apartment complex for the people who next room. Have to I was step visiting over his trash. a. Uh, I was che- checking out a new apartment the other day, and there was uh, please take one, uh, like a twenty four pack of waters. I took two, just <laughs> out of spite. Like you can't expect me to just take one. It was for delivery drivers too. I mean, that's just. <clears throat> so you took, stole delivery drivers' water? A bottle of water. Yeah. Two of right. them, not just one, two of them. But you, are you going to like pay it forward? Are you going to replace it at yeah, some I'll, point? Yeah, I'll give someone a bottle of water. Do you two think he'll, do you think he'll actually follow through Absolutely on that? Absolutely not. I'll eventually, down the road, could be tomorrow, could be 10 years from now, I will give someone a bottle of water. But you won't be thinking about the time you took two from this part. Uh, now, after this conversation, I will. What if he goes and gets you another water right now? I'm thirsty. Not doing it. <laughs> That would throw off rhythm. I'm in. I'm in my fucking zone right now. He right. is in the zone. What number was that, Thomas? So uh, that was 46. very low. So I don't even Dang. really have the uh, the data. It's in the bottom thirty because one uh, percent of the vote oh, it got, okay. and so, so it was, you it was know on how... seventy nine people's board. So we have like the top uh, sixty seven right now in our data of, in in order, and it's so it's so it's that. NR. It's not ranked. Mm-hmm. Okay. Basically, right. it's an R. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll probably get it in a couple minutes. But so yeah. you were correct what? when you said that Chief would probably fumble yeah. around and fuck up. Yeah. I thought that was so, a good draft. I had a fun time on. That I didn't draft. think it'd be. I, I didn't think it'd be very high. No, no. Okay. I didn't think. But I, I, that doesn't mean that. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be I because Smitty it. fucking stinks. <laughs> um, it's rude to all right, so the audience is up again, and the audience is going to get their fourth overall. Yeah, I just want to say something about the I mean, knocking the number four pick. It looks like everything I, is just coming up audience right now because I, I have we haven't had one pick stolen besides the number one overall, and you can't expect to get the number one overall. Yeah, mm-hmm. I have one I want next, so I hope it's not that. So, so uh, we are getting the number four overall with the Barstool draft at 18%. Oh, okay. yeah. With, yeah. Right. with Dave Portnoy. Okay. It's the biggest one we've done. I know in history. It's, well, it's because it's Dave. Yeah, yes, yeah, because it's Dave. The would you just type uh, into the algorithm for YouTube like Dave Portnoy drafts random bar stools, and it probably had a hundred thousand downloads. I'm sure. Yeah, if you put Dave's name in anything, it just yeah, goes exactly. crazy. It goes yeah. crazy. But even even uh, but I, I, it was still did well for sure, like everywhere. But it was a good draft. Yeah, for put, sure. Put my board together. I liked the draft because I liked how. Literally fucking three picks in, Prez, I disavow. I disavow. And it was like, dude, I'd, you'd have to be following our drafts to be coming in here and click with us as quick as he did. Like, he he bought into, like, arguing with Dave about whether a pick should be allowed, arguing yeah. with you about whether or not stuff should be allowed. And that's, like, as much as somebody's really gotten in the fucking trenches and, like, the interpersonal relationships in a draft and, like, just basically screaming at us about stuff. Yeah, and he sat in there with that, uh, that old office boxed in 10, that corner. 10,000 yeah. And it was so yeah. hot. That's what birthed like, that video. Yeah, it was, it was... What are you doing? It was, uh, it was a trooper for doing it, but he's a slave for content. But, yeah, I mean, no surprise. I'm not surprised it's high, but... Why didn't you, or at least... It why wasn't even guys? on my board, to be honest. Yeah, I didn't have it on my board either. I got a fifth. You had a fifth on your board? I didn't rank my board, really. I just kind of... I, um, I made a list, but I kind of went in chronological order. That's how I did it, too. Yeah. Um, I thought it was a right. fine draft. I'm up. I, I, I don't know. I should, probably should have taken this in the earlier rounds. It's it's one of the most significant drafts you've ever done. And so I'd be surprised if it wasn't top 10. Uh, I got to go summertime foods. It's the birth of Barada. And it really like created. I'm glad this whole, you said it the right way. It created this arc for you that has been fucking hilarious and just a lot of fun to fuck with you with. So it was born there, and I, it's it's an amazing moment. Well, and Barada took him off the hang because he took corn on the cob. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. it got so, you off the hook. I yeah. should say. Can I defend that? Salad. Can, oh, that's the it's some reason. of the worst <laughs> picks like in yeah. history. But don't see the light of day. Because I of still think. Like it's whatever, <laughs> but you changed it to barbecue foods midway midway through. I mean, Chief, everyone else got the 
Got it. No. So you it's can't, summertime you can't really food at a argument. patio at a restaurant is different. Can't than really in the backyard. make that argument. No, it was not. A so it was. Really. It was. I had number one overall. I took corn on the cob, large stick baby lamb chops, white sack. Dave took brisket, and the chief says burrata salad. And the uh, the holy shit that came out of Large's mouth <laughs> is unforgettable too. We should add that clip in too. Yeah, I'm gonna have a burrata salad. So not a crazy. What, <laughs> what, Dave? Holy what shit. is the problem? Burrata. You, you can't you can't beat a burrata. So I'm I'm happy to have burrata. And then Carl steal the draft. He got beer. I think this is the biggest runaway you ever had, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Oh man, that's you a, killed that draft. Yeah, I mean like, his first three picks could have all gone one one. Going five or something. And I think I think. Uh, Large had the worst draft. Yeah, of all, like five like percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like three point one. He has the lowest yeah. vote total of any yeah. guest that's been on the show. Yeah, <clears throat> we well, talked about that at NASCAR. I think in, really? in November, and he was just like, "I had no fucking clue what you guys were doing." Like, <laughs> you know, he was defending baby lamb chops. He was baby like, lamb yeah, chops I, I are totally, great. Good. Totally missed the mark. The, looking at the graphic and going from burrata salad to beer is tough. <laughs> like that's that's a big time. What was the Vikings when they, they, the uh, the Eagles ran up and took uh, yeah, the yeah, wide yeah, receiver yeah, and they yeah. sprinted up and took oh, Justin, Justin Jefferson? Jefferson. Yeah. It's like that's like one of those types of moments. Yeah. Um, so, corn on the cob. My thing was is so it's not in the graphic, but you needed a drink, a main course, a side, a dessert, yeah, it's not and a fruit. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. My bad. And then so so I, I thought corn on the cob was the A1 side. And I was fine with whatever meat I got, so that's why I went corn on the cob. I I still stand by that being a good pick. I one, think that's one, the best side. It's just one one. It's tough. I like corn it, is tough. Just, it is tough. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. But the, the best part of the, the social clip we use is like Chiefs like sitting there thinking he's like dead serious looking through his list. He's like, All right, I think I'm gonna take burrata salad. And you and I look at each other like <laughs> like what the fuck? Burrata salad. It's a classic. This is really like looking like an old game film, like from like yeah. high school days. Yeah. Like, wow, yeah. I can't believe Yeah. How it really much is. Grown. But I, uh, yeah, I don't know. This yeah. was this was a historic, tra and this is, this is. I mean, a narrative was born. Like Chiefs yeah. gonna chief. So this was it. What was this one? So this was a top ten. This was number eight overall. Yeah, thirteen point six percent of the vote. So um, it was on my list. I just didn't want to draft it. Why you didn't want to, bad memories? You didn't. Yeah, yeah. I I, I don't want to draft something that like I become the talking point, <laughs> good or bad. No, but you gotta like own your. No, I own it. That's but your I knew, brand. I knew it would get drafted. I knew we would talk about it. I just didn't want to. You have you start like a cult following from it. Yeah, the, the salad gang. soldiers. No, this to the Brada gang. Here. Salad soldiers. We'll it's, we'll get you for that one. Not picking it is the definition of not owning it. No, I'm, I knew it would be drafted. I just didn't want to be the one to like do it. I guess. But uh, I knew it would be on. You know what board. I think? I think that that stinks. Why? I don't know. It's just fishy to me. Hmm. This is tough now. This gets tough. Um, I'm up again. I'm going to go with one, another one similar to Adam Sandler where we all just kind of bonded and it was like, let's well, just shoot the shit. This wasn't happy. It was miserable. And it was um, worst days of the year. That's that's, that's what I was one. going for. Yeah. For some reason, I thought that's like that's where I got the bat. Drop the bat. That's from. the KFC one. Yeah, yeah, that's the KFC. That's what I was trying to draft. But I was like, no, wait. I was talking about this. I was mixing the two up. Long story short. But this was a fantastic draft yeah this was, was just, probably and my KFC best was right in his element right in his element because yeah. he's just a miserable fucking loser <laughs> a deadbeat a degenerate <laughs> he sucks and it, he was perfect for this draft yeah. yeah this was a good one man yeah I, I really like that one do, do we have a number on this one Tom <clears throat> yeah uh Number where's the yeah? So this was actually top five. You got number oh, five. Oh wow! Yeah, it's right. very really? high. Yeah, I'm yeah. surprised by that. Actually, that was uh, that was the audience's next available one. So nice. I, so first, you stole one. First I just snag, swooped yeah. down the audience, boys. There you go. That Four, was good. Fourteen. That 14, was 14, a, almost fifteen percent of the vote. You know what I mean? Though, like draft. we just sat there. I think I was in Greek town. I was just sitting in my hotel room, and every, like everyone was just like, "That's what it was." That's where I because I was in I was in a hotel for both of them because I was in my room in Greek Greek yeah, town too. Yeah. That's where I got confused. Yeah, and it was just like we were just talking about being miserable. Yeah, just that was a topic. I was I, I remember being like, "Yo, what about worst days?" Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, what, I was like fucking hounding you for a couple months on that. I got it up. Not to be, you know. No, no. You, I, probably I, you could probably say that about a number of these where I. Who was number four? That was me. 
Chief won with 53.6%. Wow. Yeah. I think that was my best performance. The chief winner yeah. on there. Um, like, so, of all the ones where I'm sorry, I was like, well, of all the ones where I've like been, I want to do this, I want to do this. And then I couldn't have done worse. Was I even on this graphic? Chief bodied me in the first round. Number five was left off. I was number three. Mm. Who was five? Dave. I think five, yeah, five, this five, is the run of the. Season. This is when the lemmings started. <laughs> <laughs> the, in, the inmates were running the asylum when they were just voting me off, no matter what. <laughs> Every single fucking draft. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> last Sunday day MLB season. <laughs> last day of the MLB. Our birthdays after thirty. All right. Yeah, worst days of the year, number five. I'm happy to get it there then. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, su I'm surprised that went, that was a I'm top surprised five. That was that five too, That's yeah. the most su surprising ranking so far. There was some, because that so. was like a straightforward, there weren't any like crazy moments. There, yeah, were big there moments. was something about the cohesion that was right. like. Yeah. yeah, I suppose. That was like everyone was just like on the same page. We were just like, buying over misery. This fucking sucks. And negativity does like more mm -hmm. engagement typically. Than Definitely. positivity. Yeah. I, I would say so, yeah. All right, um, the audience is up again. Number seven, I think, is still on the board. Yeah, so number seven is the ballpark draft. Ah, uh, right. you know, ballpark Boy. concessions with uh, oh, with I was gonna, yeah, ballpark concessions. That was such a good one. Yeah, that he's trying fun. to draft an entire fucking ballpark cart of concessions. food. Uh, Fourteen point five percent of the vote. That was also so two things we forgot to say: back-to-back -back audience picks. The Barcel draft is when we started doing the order on. Yeah, on, we do it live on the show. Right, because Portnoy Dave was insisted. like that factors into the strategy. Is like, yeah, it's a good point. Mm -hmm. And then I think Big Cat was the only time we redid the order because he had that dumbass lottery machine. Actually, not dumbass. That thing's awesome. It's sweet, but yeah. I love that thing. And he had a lottery machine, and he was like, "We well, gotta redo it." I think I got fucked. And you on got that. fucked. I on got that. fucked yeah. on that and had one of my worst drafts. I smoked that one, I believe. So yeah, Eddie smoked it. I got beer. Eddie won with fifty two point seven. Yeah, so I was supposed to have the number one pick. <laughs> And Let, I would have taken uh, beer. Lanyard, another classic chief moment for that one. That was yeah, bad. That, 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 that was, was bad, ooh. but I'm just not a take something back from the game guy. I was I was struggling. I just don't care about shit. <laughs> Nothing brings me joy. So I'm not holding on to anything. Um, this was like uh the first one I did in Chicago that was like after Donnie. Uh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Like I came for Donnie and then like when I stayed, this was the, the next one we had to do. Why did I think this one we did in Philly? No, I remember no, it, was, no. it was when no. Donnie was out here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ballpark and sessions, top 10. All right, Chief, you're up again. I'm, I'm struggling between two, like, to me, that are classic Dave moments. And I can't, like, remember, like, how great the draft was. I'm going, it was an early one, so I'm probably not in the uh, high in the rankings. But the TV family draft, and specifically when Dave drafts, Kelly Bundy because he wants to fuck his that sister. Has not, that's not what I said. You fucking do not do not lead the jury, okay? I that's said exactly it would be weird was. if I drafted Kelly Bundy because I've grown up wanting to bang her, never thinking I'd be drafting her to be in my family. You draft her and to then be you your draft sister. Her <laughs> well, yeah, I had to. It's fucking Kelly Bundy. I love Kelly Bundy. That little skis. Let's let's hear it. Hold on. All right, so I gotta pick a sister. Um, I, this is kind of difficult for me because I don't know if I want to draft someone I would like to have sexual intercourse with, and I would love to have sexual intercourse with Peggy Bundy or not Peggy uh, Kelly Bundy. I knew you were going to do and this. That's what I said before the show. I go I, when I go. I know these <laughs> words are going to come out of Dave's mouth. What I was talking about was you drafting someone hot enough that you would bang. You're into incest sister. porn. Like, well, like when that pops up on Pornhub, I actually it's, talked it's a White Sox Dave fantasy. I talked to Eddie. There's not enough room for the word fuck fucking on. Uh, Chief's graphic, but yours, it, there would be enough room to note that oh, it's a course, really horny, course. weird pick. That has nothing to do with me drafting her. She's a fucking perfect TV sister. You but it's to funny, the way you caveated that, caveat, whatever, was like you did it to yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. You know? <laughs> I brought that upon myself. Yes. I did. You could have just been like Kelly Bundy. So and can on. you say again? I don't know what I was thinking. No, no, no. It has nothing. I did know what I was thinking right there. I didn't I didn't intend to back myself into that corner like I did, but I absolutely knew that I wanted Kelly Bundy in that draft and that it would be weird drafting her knowing that I've spent 33 years thinking of her naked every time she's on my TV. And then? You She's, drafted her. And yeah. then I drafted her. <laughs> so, yeah. What that's is all uh, it, That's all it is. What number was that? That was 
number 38 overall. Okay. That was a great draft, though. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was a fun you, draft. Uh, so Who won that one? Eddie won with 32.2%. Which is fucked up because you drafted one. Arthur Shelby, and I was like, holy fuck, that's a good pick. Yeah. I, liked, I a, just had my – it was Tammy Taylor, I know. I thought I had a strong draft. Where did I finish that one? One of the closer drafts. Second. I was happy yeah. to get Phil Margera that one big time. <laughs> that guy's been through pain. He deserves to be on a winning team. Uh, White Sox, Dave, you're up. Um, I am going to go. I think this was our first ever draft with a guest. I'm going with the sequels draft with Rico Bosco, when he unleashed the uh, the New Testament, New Testament <laughs> uh, sequel. Like I was like, holy shit, this is about to get off the rails. I didn't even think of that because we weren't really doing outside the box stuff. We were just taking standard whatever. Um, but Rico came guns blazing with the fucking New Testament, and it went off the rails, and it was awesome. Yeah, I, I remember being so mad at Rico for that because I was going to take the New Testament, and I was also going to take World War II, and I believe he got both of them. Rico, yeah, he did. He yeah. got both of them back to back. He was the fifth pick. That um, was the eighth draft we ever did. Yeah. And that was yeah. the first one with the guest, right? Yeah. That was the earliest draft on my board. That was the earliest one. Yeah, that was yeah. a good one. Sequels was good. He just put us all in a blender. Mm -hmm. Good old Rico Bosco. What was that one on there, Tom? 4.7. That was uh, that was number 32. Okay. God damn. Yeah. Number yeah. 32. 4. Maybe 7. people didn't go back and listen to them all. Who knows? Yeah, that could or be. Maybe it's yeah, true. That, I bet that has a lot to do with it. Um, And top fives, it's hard. Top five is hard. Uh, Carl, you're up. What are we missing? Seven and ten from the audience? I th no, I think we're... No, we're just missing ten. Yeah. Number seven was the ballpark con uh, concessions. That yeah. was the audience's last pick. Okay, thank you. Um. All right, I need a Clem. I definitely need a Clem on the board. Um... I mean, I, I'm going to argue that right now I can get fourth-round value that Eddie got fifth-round value. I'm going to take the chip draft with Clem. Because mm. you got the expertise. He's obviously the king of the snack. Maybe not the appeal candy has, especially Halloween candy when he drafted uh, watermelon Sour Patch Kids. But chip draft with Clem, that was something we had took in the planning process very serious, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, it was – that's one of your most heavy hitters that you that you've planned around. Yeah, I saved that. I literally saved it for a year. We didn't have Clem on for a year. I think I went Halloween candy to that third row in the middle. I think that was the first you one he back. did. Um, third row. Yeah. Gotcha. Thank you. But uh, yeah, that was a good one. I thought that was good. Anybody else trip draft? Good draft. Yeah, it was a good draft. I could go for some uh, sour cream and onion chips right now. Clem is just so like. Also, this is just so people that was the third Clem. We're, we're missing Clem's debut. But that's up to you to find out. Yeah, no, I, <clears throat> yeah. I think so I know what it is. Interesting. That was, that. That was, I know, yeah. What that number was, was that, Tom? That was number 15, and I'm just looking just to make sure. I, it looks like to be the highest, most recent one, if that makes sense. So it was like the 90th. Yeah. It was episode 90. That was a good draft. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I like chips. Um, 10.3%. You're up again. Your last pick. I said coming in here I wanted to get a Jeff D. Lowe one on the board out of respect because he's such a good guest, but I'm not going to be able to do that. I know. No, fuck. No, fuck it. I'm taking it. I'm taking Smash Those Puppies right in my face. I'm taking the yeah. Jeff D. Lowe sit-down chain restaurant. Yeah, that might be number 10 if I had to guess. But it I'll, is, yeah. It's number 10? Yep. Yeah. All right, good, because I was in between that and another one that – There will be an I have one mention. circled for honorable mention where I'm like, it's, I would love to get this on the big board, but it's just I can't squeak it in there. But this one was just so fucking good. Jeff's such an expert on the sit-down chain. And the other funny thing about this draft is Dana and I went to Benihana and expense like a $300 lunch the next day. 
so we could like quote unquote make content. Benny Hanna went one overall. I what was making you? content. I don't know about you. Yeah, it was. Oh, this bombed. is where Dave. I think this is where Dave was. Right? Isn't that the Hooters draft where he smashed those yeah, puppies? It is. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. smashed yep. those babies right in my yep. face. That's it. I was worried about Carl picking first because I wanted this pick. We're talking big tits, <laughs> tight white shirts. We're talking chicken wings and beer and football. We're talking Hooters. And if you talk shit about their wings, you're a fucking moron because those wings are fucking fantastic. And you're a tits guy, right? I love tits. I love a good <laughs> but I mean, busty like pair a, of tits. Like a tits or ass? Tits. Yeah. Tits. All day tits. Smash those babies right in my face. <laughs> you foul boy. I'm saying what you guys all think every time you step foot into that, that majestic palace. Did you get... um? Who won this look one? At, look at the first I comment is replying uh, because I'm a tits guy. Yeah, yeah number four won. Wait, Jeff Day. won? Yeah, Jeff won. Okay, so yeah, Jeff had Outback. Outrageous. Chief. I got left off the poll on that one. Did you? <laughs> Lemmings, all of them. Oh, okay, go back to the po- enlarge it, please. I think I was number Thank four. You. Dave, you took Old Country Buffet. Chief, you were five. Old Country Buffet is fucking good. Don't, don't shit talk Old Country Buffet. Have you yeah, ever had the mac and cheese five. at Old Country Buffet? Oh, I got shit on for taking Red Fucking lobster. delicious. Yeah, I think Red Chief got shit on for taking Melting Pot. I did. Yeah. I've never even heard of Melting Pot. I, I mean, think. Ruth, Ruth's Chris in the fourth nice round. Experience. That was Jeff. Yeah. yeah. No, that's it. He won. Bonefish I didn't like. Yeah, Bonefish. Well, bonefish is bonefish is good. I'm happy with my guys, too, because I have a Rico, I have a Clem, I've got a Jeff. I got, I got a PFT. All right, sit down, chained. Carl's draft is done. White Sox, Dave, you need your last pick. Uh, I'm going to throw it all the way back to the appetizers draft. That was mm. one of our first ones. I thought that was the first one we had Clem on for, right? No. no it was Marty. A motherfucker, Marty. Oh, Mush. Marty, that's right, that's right, that's right. He fucking drafted rice balls. Rice balls. Had a, had a ban for a while for drafting rice balls, actually. He, I thought it was a great topic, but like I thought Marty, just the way that kind of played out, it, it didn't. With uh, appetizers. You didn't like appetizers? I mean, I thought the topic was good, but what kept that out of my board was I didn't think Marty was, like, as into. He drafted into rice it. balls. What a fucking idiot. Yeah, Marty like, rice is. balls after hush puppies. That's tough. <laughs> what, what, like, what are hush puppies? And I went heavy seafood. Eddie won this one 36.7%. Mozzarella sticks, potato skins, pretzel bites, a load of waffle fries, pot stickers. Ooh, I had a bad fourth round pick that I'm surprised hasn't reared its ugly head. Charcuterie? Yeah. <laughs> That's a tough scene right there. What was your guys' problem with rice balls? That you just didn't like them? I don't, I don't I think, think it's got to like, be an East Coast thing because yeah, I don't know what the I fuck a rice ball is. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask if that was a coastal. It is. It is. That wouldn't be as crazy as you guys are making it sound oh, really? in the yeah. Northeast. Yeah, it's like a. It actually is really good. I, I, I gotta. I guess we gotta try some rice balls. Like rice balls, if you were talking to like Marty Mush's Describe crowd. Describe it to it, me again. It's, Is it? It's like a fried ball. It just looks like a a round like a fried arancini? ball, and then inside it's just like mushy rice, and it's usually just topped with marinara sauce. It's like almost just like. It's like arancini. I don't know what you're saying. No, it sounds too healthy. Nah, it's just an Italian one. No rice ball. Rice it's ball? not that no, it's not healthy. It's it's good. I mean, it, and it's 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 pretty popular. Would you say twenty four is a good spot for that? Yeah, yeah, big time. I would. I mean, it, it's like I think this is where regional stuff comes into play because yeah. if if, it, if this was like in New York, rice balls would be in, in like the second or third round. All mm-hmm. right, we got def- we got huh. defense. We got okay. defense of Marty. What That's about fair. hush puppies? What do you say about that? <laughs> Those are also very popular, right? What about hum- those are popular in the south? That's like a southern thing. Yeah. 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 What about hummus plate? <laughs> That's, oh, That's gross. Hummus plate is good, dude. Also, looking back, I didn't. I forgot to note it. Your summertime barbecue is rough too. The one you the, drafted, yeah, no, summertime no, foods. The, the summertime, yeah, the one I took. What you and you had what you had uh, the the Hawaiian salad that you guys always argue about. And the there's this Mal- thing I used to get from yeah, Jewel ceviche. for like three bucks a pound or whatever out of the deli aisle, and I think it's Hawaiian salad and it's <laughs> fucking delicious, but it's like disgusting at the same time. Like anytime I go to a barbecue, I'd be like, yeah, give me two pounds of that. And I just point to it. Dude. Yeah, that stuff. That's the shit right there. Keep blowing that in there. If it isn't it outside, it just turns into a slop in like five minutes. That's what largest con was on it. I don't know, and that's what they argue because Dave said he hates marshmallows, but he drafted Hawaiian salad, so it just. <laughs> I think I'm thinking of something wrong. Like it's it's got bananas in it and stuff. It's like it's delicious. Are you thinking of fruit salad? No, 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 no. I know what a fucking fruit salad is. It's a <laughs> bunch of different fruits. This is like 
a yeah, weird little salad mean. concoction. Um, mm. all right. Sure, you're not thinking about. Oh, protein? and this was a sampler thing one too. Yeah, that uh, that might oh, that yeah. might have been the first veto. If we're being honest, could be. It was. Was it? Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't. Yeah, that's a good question. No, it was the twenty first draft ever. No, what we did twenty. Which one was episode twenty? Air conditioning. I don't know. Air conditioning was twenty. Appetizers was. Yeah, vetoes didn't exist, or else we would have vetoed everything Dave said in the fifth round. Yeah. Or, what did uh? What was this on the list? So this was one of the higher ones left available for the audience. This was uh, number twenty oh, overall. All right. So hmm. good pick, White Sox, Dave. Uh, Chief, you're up. I'm between two. I remember wanting to kill myself after that because I didn't draft jalapeno poppers instead of charcuterie. That's what it was. And I don't think they ever got drafted. It's tough. And you're, a big, big you're a big popper guy, too. I love poppers. Yeah. I'm not a big fan. I love a good popper. I'll take... Um, I, I feel like there's one that's more popular on here, but that's not my style. So I'm going to take the back-to-school draft with Dana. I thought that was one of our best drafts, and I thought he was great. Very funny, awesome draft. That was in contention to be my Mr. Relevant. Okay. So, no, I, so I think that's a really good pick. That's another one that was just a fun, like we just sit there and you, you just bullshit about nostalgia. Yeah, for, nostalgia yeah. always plays in these. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a great draft. Where was mine? That, I think that might have been pretty high too, Tom. Oh, yeah, 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 because I took Pizza Day and you're like, I just won the draft. And you drafted Snow Day right after – yeah. Pizza day, and I was like, "Mother." I don't think I fucker. did win that one, though. You think the audience had that high? Yeah, I would think so. No, no, they had it number fifty-nine. Oh, wow, okay. two point six percent of the vote. I thought that one was that really was a good, good. draft. Yeah. Having a hot teacher, yeah, I love it. Good one of my teacher. favorite picks, um, Medieval Times. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, a field trip. Of we medieval. should do. We still, we still gotta do that. Still have to do times. that. Yeah. Can we do that? So Probably. Clem, Robbie, they all large. large they didn't do it for content, though. I think they just went. Yeah. yeah. I, I would Joey do it too. Back to school. The number one pick, and that's great. When that TV cart rolled in, yeah. he <laughs> did a fucking <laughs> Who took a hot bump. teacher? I mean, White Sox, Dave. Dave. Who was yeah. your hot teacher, Carl? I went TV cart, and then I just uh, fell. Miss Laporte. Miss I fell Mulder. right off a cliff after I don't, TV cart. I, I looked her up. The, she got married. I looked her up the other day on Facebook, and we were sending around the group chat i'm not gonna say who mine her. were because Smoke at this still. point the show has gotten so big it might get back to her and that'd be kind of awkward well that's her maiden name i'm going yeah, yeah. Mine would be i'm operating on the too. name that was like 22 years ago well that means maybe well, if you see actually now that you mentioned it i tried looking up my it was my third grade teacher i tried looking her up on facebook i like googled her name everything i didn't know what her her married name was because she was she wasn't married when she was my teacher but, like, I was going through the depths of fucking hell to find a picture of her to show you guys, and I couldn't find one. I found, like, a bunch That's of a articles shame. on her about, like, her graduation. Mm. Uh, she was, like, top of her class, whatever it was, but I couldn't find a picture. Maybe one day. What's her name? Oh, this is what I'm not going to say it. So. It'll get back to her. Well, right, if, if it gets back to her, then maybe you run into her at a Warrenville Chili's, like, you know. <laughs> if maybe. it gets back to her, you might be able to find out what her name is now and get to the bottom of this. I do know what it is now. Oh. Did you get to the bottom of it? No, I haven't. Okay. Right, Unless you got divorced school. or something. I think that's a good pick, Chief. I do. Thank you. Audience, you need your last pick. Audience's last pick is at number 12, the ice cream draft. Mm, okay. At 13.1%. That was in contention here for me. I got two swiped. That was with uh, with Big, Big Cat. Big Cat. Yeah. I got killed on that draft, obviously. Tom, if you were drafting, do you, well, basically, do you agree with the audience? Um, or in, in a sense, like, like uh, it would be hard to like actually put them in order. The only one that I would say is like, uh, like the bar stool draft with Dave Portnoy, like being that high. I yeah, think I didn't just, think that was. Yeah, like, like some I was even talking draft. about that with Danny beforehand. Like after that first round, it was just kind of like. A dud, you know. Yeah. Like, um, it, there was, it was good in the first round with like the under protest, but, um, I don't know. I, I feel like there's like definitely some some bias with uh, with guests. I I I, yeah. I, I have tended to agree with your your guys' picks because like, it goes audience. road trip was Trent, right? Mm -hmm. So Trent, yeah. that was I thought that was a great draft, and it was Whitney, it was huge. Yeah. Portnoy, huge. Big cat, big cat. 
yeah, makes sense. Clear so, pattern. Yeah. There's I a have, pattern there right then. If yeah. you're going to ask what well, my favorite, I do have one that's like my favorite. Chips went really? alarmingly low. Well, I've talked about it. Has it, has it been drafted yet? Um, no. Okay. Yeah, I still, I'll ride or die with the chip, which, by the way. Big Cat won this one with a 41.4%. And he should. He's he an knows ice cream right, king. He knows ice cream. He does know ice cream. All right, I need one more. I had a great draft. <laughs> which one was yours? Number four. I just no, it's because you always take that fucking thing that nobody knows what it is. Like what? The PB and Buster. I mean, the that's pe- on the Royal Buster. Treats menu of Dairy Queen. <laughs> Have you ever been to Dairy Queen? I don't know the Royal Treats, but everyone just gets a blizzard yeah, at Dairy Queen. Uh, yeah. yeah. Fucking, uh, like, uh, I have peanut butter blizzard. That's better than whatever peanut, that thing is. You've never had it. I don't need to. I just got the number one thing. This is making my ice cream. I want ice cream now, too. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, go get some ice cream. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, it's to me, Mr. Irrelevant. Here. This is tough, man. Do it. I'm going to go with one that I just personally love talking about, and it's a recent one, so I don't know how well it's going to do, but I'm, I'm going to go with teen movies. That was the other one I was between. Were you? Yeah. I, I, that was, I could have sat there for Rico. days and just yeah, fucking definitely. bullshit about those fucking She's All That, mm-hmm. you know, John Hughes, you name it. So teen movies is the uh, Mr. Irrelevant. How'd that one do? Uh, Rico won this one with a 35.8%. Mm. Mm. 358 That came in at uh, number 35. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not yeah. bad. So, all right, I'll run them down, and then we'll do some honorable mentions like usual. Um, should I say the rank after I say it? Sure. Yeah, if you, okay. if you, yeah, if you yeah, record I, them, for I wrote sure. them all down. All right, Carl, Soda Pop draft number six. Uh, Adam Sandler draft number 13, air conditioning draft number 9, chip draft number 15, sit down chain restaurant number 10. White Sox Dave, Grievousness draft number 1, events you wish you attended draft number 19, dog breeds draft number 16, the sequels draft number 32, appetizers number 20. Chief music videos draft number 36, Thanksgiving draft number 17, Halloween shit draft not ranked, uh, TV family draft number 38, back to school number 59. Audience Road Trip Snacks, number two. Sports Divas, number three. Barstool Draft, number four. Ballpark Concessions, number seven. Ice Cream Draft, number 12. Eddie Halloween Candy Draft, number 18. Sandwich Draft, number 11. Summertime Foods, number eight. Worst Days of the Year, number five. Teen Movies, number 35. Um, Can we start with Tom just doing the best available? Yeah. That's undrafted. Well, why don't we do ours and then he'll he'll fill in the blanks, right? Okay. I guess what would be like what? Well, the, I guess I don't know. I was thinking maybe we should just do like the top five left that are best available, and then have like two separate polls of three each, and the top two advance. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, that's fine. Um, I have well, I don't care. Whatever we want to do. Okay. Well, go matter. ahead. What do you have? What, what is the top? What, what, what tell us what's top available? How about that? So the the next top available was fourteen with the power moves draft. Tommy that was smokes. a good one. That, that was, was a good time, one. That was 10%. a good one. Tommy smokes. Yeah, that, that was, was, a, that was a pretty big one. That because then the next one is all the way down at twenty one, which is the wedding draft. Oh, that was really oh, good shit. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah, was yeah. really good too. Oh, yeah. what else we got? And then it goes kind of in a row after that. So the next like six are. 21 to like 27 are wedding draft uh the chinese food draft the swedish college qb draft nba starting five with coley that was a really good one mm. uh the fast food draft best beer draft what was your favorite that we didn't get oh i i just have like a personal favorite for recreational games while drinking draft that was that was on my list that too. was on my list too I don't because think I was there for that week. the funniest part of that yeah. one was will compton, will compton yeah. yeah sitting in front of the elevator on his vacation <laughs> on his phone zooming with us for an hour and a half and you made him move around you made him go from outside by the pool to in the yeah. lobby had to get the good service and then, like, for the people. Then he get in trouble for like not wearing a shirt in the lobby or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love how you were just like bossing around. And he was just like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll leave the pool. <laughs> this one's definitely not ranked, but I think it's one of the most significant ones, and it's the earliest significant one. Uh, it was the third one, Nickelodeon. Yeah. And yeah. that was significant because that was the first time when it's like, whoa, what are we doing here? Because Dave drafted SpongeBob. He pandered. Yeah. And it was, was like, whoa, pander. he never seen it. And everyone was like, well, dude, that's – it was like – it was the first evolution yeah. of like how are these things going to work, mm-hmm. you know? For sure. So that, that was an, another part of the recreational draft. Harry just reminded me was like he came, he answered the call thinking he was talking about like 
football the NFL games. Draft. So yeah, like yeah, he yeah. was he was coming up. <laughs> oh, that yeah. was just, we were watching someone just come up with their board like on the top of their head. Yes, he yeah. thought so, it was NFL drafts. Yeah, yeah. But I, <laughs> yeah. I told him whatever. Yeah. What was Nickelodeon? Nickelodeon. Oh, that was uh, that was deep probably not ranked. That was so. That was so long ago. The other uh, that was seventy one. Oh, wow. Yeah, pretty yeah, far they, down. Wow. One point six percent. No one was listening at that point. Yeah. yeah. The other clear one, one, which was also like a low moment for me, was the purely Elizabeth uh, yeah. serial. Serial, yeah, serial yeah. was great. Yeah, that I was, was surprised a good one. that one didn't go. Uh, I could. I mean, uh, another story arc, obviously. If you wanted, that I thought was draftable was me versus you over Miracle. Sports, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. sports yeah. movies was a classic yeah. moment. We we walk into the office and Ed's just sitting watching like the fucking the locker room speech. Yeah, yeah. So he could draft it first overall. And he's like, I'm Scumbag. taking Miracle. He didn't even have fucking time to digest how incredible <laughs> it, it that means movie nothing is. to him. Yeah. What yeah. was that? Sorry, you guys were asking about Clem drafts. I I skipped over number twenty two after wedding. I I forgot after wedding at twenty one. Twenty two was the serial serial draft. Okay. With Clem. Okay. What was sports movies? That was I. Uh, Sorry, I just had that. Um, that was thirty three. Okay. okay, that was with uh, with Rico, right? Yes. Yeah, was episode it? eleven. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The other one that I uh, remember it's a, it's another White Sox Dave moment was he was getting creative with the fight crew and he took Jesus Christ. That was very funny. <laughs> I mean, he's immortal. You can't fucking beat an immortal guy. Well, P- they, PFT they killed him twice. PFT was like, I've done so many of these things between oh. this and Mount Rushmore, and he's like, that was the worst pick I've ever played in my life. <laughs> that's fucking, that's fucked up. That's really fucked up. And then he drafted Pontius Pilate right in my face, and I was like, fuck. He got me. Remember, he takes Jesus as his number one guy that he wants worst in his pick, corner. Worst picks draft. Because he's going to do fucking magic or something. I'm going to Jesus Christ. Uh, I would love to have a miracle worker on my side. He can fuck you up at the drop of a hat. He can rise from the dead. He might not start a fight, but he will finish a fight. So I'm going what, to Jesus. I mean, what is, to what is incorrect with what I just said? Infinity in your face, he's not, he's not turning the other cheek. Fuck yeah. It's, he's it's, an it's, awful pick. Jesus... His own too. Peaceful. Lifetime. <laughs> He's never won a fight. Yep. Hey, try killing Jesus Christ, dude. It's been done. I, it, it's <laughs> <for> allegedly. <laughs> no, not allegedly. They, they punch his pilot. And then he, he rose from the grave. And he's immortal. And he died again. Dude, be think. honest. You'd take that one back, right? No, I wouldn't. I want Jesus in my corner. He you can, want Jesus in my corner? He can turn water out. into wine. He can turn the fucking chief into a little chihuahua walking down the street. <laughs> I mean, he's not a fucking magician. (laughs) Dave, can you say what was I thinking? No, I I, I, I was thinking. (laughs) Thought process was clean there. It was clean. Well, so that was number 29. And uh, I just, this list just made me realize another personal favorite that would be like uh, number one on my board would, would be 28, which was the Sopranos draft. Oh. Which was what I feel like the one that like every single person came in with such heavy knowledge about mm-hmm. everything. And, mm-hmm. Damn. Uh, that was a really good one. Uh, you guys weren't around for this one because you're not wrestling guys, but wrestling entrances was a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah, with, that was the one I was talking about for honorable mention. Yeah, with Robbie, uh, Clem, and Brandon Walker. That was 31. Right yeah. In that same range. We almost that. got through an entire episode without mentioning that whiny baby Brandon Walker. <laughs> uh, uh, viral videos. I was. It was just the four of us too. I thought the uh, the America draft with Biz was funny too. Mm-hmm. Like just making Biz like, and Glenny. Yeah. Wait, what did what did uh, is that where he was talking about Colorado or was that somewhere else? That was on Chicklets. He had some funny quote like just an American stereotype that was way off. Yeah. Well, he thinks Colorado is a southern state. It's in the south. I can like I can kind of see it coming from a Canadian dude. It's all we're it's all way south, south of yeah. them. Um, we didn't talk about maybe the worst pick that's ever been made. That was in the international draft. That was bad. Uh, with exchange, exchange rates. rates. I think I won that trap by like 60% vote. <laughs> well, like it, ne- it didn't occur to me that you were just going to go like pizza, tacos. Like that's what how well, you won I the went, I went with, I think, Led Zeppelin for my international. Well, yeah, you had music. Yeah. So I was thinking like just traveling abroad. <laughs> And I had the I'm that might have been the, like the first pick. I'm gonna go with the, do we have that clip, Danny? No, nah, I think I got lost. I think that's ex- <laughs> <laughs> that was my first one. Uh, yeah, yeah, with Donnie, Donnie. with yeah. Donnie, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna go with exchange rates. Something did happen to that video where it got that's a shame, it got lost, I think. Did it because Don, yeah, it was something with the footage, like Donnie had the footage on his card to bring back for like the videos uh, we did. And I think he cleared it. It was, yeah, did it get dumped in the Lake Michigan? 
Was it one of those? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it was like a, it was like a miscommunication when we were uh, sharing files. I remember. That's a shame. Overrated draft of Big John. I like that one. I all still right. laugh at him saying he doesn't eat Geno's yeast because there's too much meat. He shits all over his yard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Just like. <laughs> Mm, trying to think if there's anything. and then my last one was Irish Irish shit, but that was mostly just a troll, you guys, because I won that. Yeah, one. the uh, like I for whatever reason, Dave being horny is just like the funniest thing to me. The cost, the Halloween costumes draft, that was like another. Oh, one. the Adam and Eve, yeah, or just all of them. Yeah, yeah, there's commentary on all of them, so that was good. Anything yeah. else of note there, Tom? No, I'm just. Uh, it is interesting that like 21 to. 28 like it was like a uh, like basically all the 20s no one picked it was like hmm. that, i mean that's I mean, like that was like thing. a blind spot there yeah. um well all right then i think that's it uh thank you everybody for listening thank you tom harry danny uh intern lance thanks ken jack for making the graphic all the guests from barstool our old stack guy richie yeah um thanks to a lot of people who have really put into these drafts and made them what they are and thanks to the listener obviously most uh most yeah, importantly. And, uh, that's the end of the sink traps. Now we're doing one again. <laughs> yeah, we're, they're done. <laughs> See you next Monday. Going out with. Um, going out on top. No, but we'll be back next Monday. Uh, but, yeah, thanks. To, and I, if I missed someone, thank you if you helped this show at all, too. We really appreciate it. Um, all right, that's it. Thanks well, to you, Ed. Thanks to you, too. Thanks um, to me more than anything. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I carry the show on my back like I'm fucking Mike Allstott. Shout out to the Brada gang. Um, Shout out to the Lemmings, for real. (laughs) You like the Lemmings? Yeah, I mean, we have a contentious relationship, but shout out to the Lemmings. Shout out to the Lemmings. For real. Um, All right, that's it. Thanks, everybody, once again. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll see you then.